I've been following some fan drama this week that I think we should talk about. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So since we do this Percy Jackson podcast, one of the things we like to talk about about it is trying to protect the child actors on the show just mm-hmm. from everything that can happen to child actors, including their own fan bases. And so sometimes I see videos from teenagers and I'm like, what are you guys doing? (laughs) This this week was one of those times. And so I feel like this necessary need to like defend Dior again. One thing that people say about her is that she's a Zionist. And the reason why people say that is because when October 7th happened last year, when the propaganda about that was like absolutely like the levels of absurdity about that was like off the charts like there were people israel was saying that they beheaded babies Mm -hmm. like anyone who heard that story that they beheaded babies and like were like r wording like women on the street before they found before they admitted months later that all of that was a lie like at that time the first couple weeks of October especially, it was like super intense when it comes to that stuff. And so at some point during that, she posted on her Instagram story something like supporting Israel. I guess the thing I have noticed since everything with Palestine became like this weird trend (laughs) and like on social media, the way like Palestine is obviously extremely important, but there is a part of it that has become this weird trend sort of virtue signaling thing outside of like what is actually happening there and so somebody who posts propaganda put out by israel when nobody when if you looked at that you wouldn't realize yet that it wasn't real is not a zionist Mm -hmm. as a zionist is somebody who believes that israel has a right to exist to the point that palestinians do not that Palestinians do not deserve to live, that they don't deserve to be on that land, that Israel has a right to destroy and kill them all. That is what an actual Zionist is. Somebody posting something on their Instagram story because they don't know any better yet does not mean that you have adopted the Zionist propaganda machine and think that every Palestinian on earth deserves to be killed. And so calling Dior a Zionist feels very it feels like you're saying that about her because you just want to find something wrong about her that you can be like oh i don't like her because i'm jealous that she's friends with all of these actors that i have crushes on mm-hmm. and so i'm gonna call her a zionist because that gives me an excuse to be a bitch to her yeah because the other part of this story is that somebody who had like an account that i guess was like she doesn't like leah or something like a anti leah sort of account Mm-hmm. He very obviously baited Dior, where she used her song in a post, and then she posted the first picture was like Dior and Tamara, who plays um, Thalia. And, mm-hmm. you know, Dior liked the post, like, no big deal. And then later on, she, like, the other pictures in it were, like, against Leah in some way. But anyone, like, scrolling on your on like your FYP, especially if you're somebody like Dior, who has like fans who use your songs, you're just gonna see somebody posting a picture of you and your friend and you're gonna like the video and keep going. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna realize or look at the account. And that account kept changing like the caption under the video. Like when she liked the, the video, it was fine. And then later on went back and changed the caption to being something mean about Leah. Oh my and so then she was like, look, Dior doesn't like Leah. <laughs> And, and like kept changing the caption as like the day went on when people were obviously being like, what the hell is your problem? (laughs) Like, why do you have like an entire account against like Leah who plays Annabeth? That's really weird. And then she tried to be like, oh no, I actually don't like Dior. And I was trying to set her and I was trying to show that she's a bad person by doing this. And I'm like, you baited her. You literally baited her. You you baited her by using her song and posting a nice picture of her and her friend so that maybe she would like your post. So then you could try to make it look like she's a bad person later because you're a teenager and you're probably bored and you're trying to cause like chaos for whatever reason, which it did. Because then after that happened, then I start seeing posts of people saying that like, people are mad at like Walker and Tamara because they didn't defend Leah. And I'm like, 
this is like the parasocialness that we talk about with these actors a lot. You yeah. don't know who they are based on what they do on social media. You have no idea who you are. They could hate each other and you will never, ever, ever know. Okay. Like they could literally despise each other. I don't think any of them do, but they could. And you would never know. You know why? Because they're actors. It's literally their job to act. They can act like they like somebody that they don't. You will never be able to figure it out by like micromanaging the things that they do on the internet. You can't bait them into posts to prove that they don't like an actress that you don't want to like, or yeah. that you don't want to like them. You, it will never ever work. And it's just the ridiculousness of, they made this post about Dior to try to do whatever they were doing there. And then all of a sudden it became into this other big thing where people are like thinking that these other actors on the show are like not good people because they haven't defended Leah over something that didn't even happen. <laughs> like people are upset about something that did not happen. Walker and Tamar are bad people because they haven't like stood up for Leah and stuff. And it's like, even if they did do that, that stuff would never happen on social media because mm -hmm. social media isn't real. <laughs> this stuff is not real. You have a parasocial relationship with these actors. You don't actually know who they are. And yeah. no matter what you do and like hyper fixate on these things, you will never know that about them unless you somehow in your life become friends with them. But you probably won't because you are so much of a fan of them that you're making up literal fan fiction stories about their friendship and who you think is friends and who is not based on if they like a post or not on social media. It's so stupid. And we've seen like how this actually happens. Well, you don't find out that castmates didn't like each other until like at least a decade after the show is over <laughs> and <laughs> it'll randomly either come up in an interview or maybe like a tell all book. Like, let's say you actually successfully stir up drama among the castmates. These people have to work together. Like, they're going to be stuck working together at least for another few months, hopefully for another few years if we get a bunch of seasons. Like, why, why mess that up? You know, Clarice is a reoccurring character, not just in this season, although she does have a more diminished role in, like, Titan's Purse, as we saw in our recent reread. But, like, she pops up in a lot of the books still yeah and it's also a thing of because of how the internet is if somebody says something on the internet even if it's not true and it's been like proven to not be true people will bring it up like forever like you cannot stop people from like spreading rumors even if it's been debunked a million times there's nothing you can actually do to control that and it's like I don't want a teenager on the internet to start a rumor about someone because they're bored that still affects them when they're like 25. With all that Dior does, because she does, like, as you said, music, she does acting and she's a big part in this season. So this could be a very big opportunity for her. She's not going to mess it up over something stupid. Realistically, she was probably going through her mentions and was like, oh, look, here's a mention. I'm going to go see, it looks vaguely positive didn't scroll through the rest of the post and was like, yeah, like, okay, move on. And probably was doing that to a bunch of people's posts. Shit like this is going to make her not want to interact with fans on social media anymore, though. Yeah, that's always the point that I make because we talk about, like, the weird stuff that happens with Walker so far of, like, his, like, personal phone number being leaked and doxxed and his at people showing up at his house in his like hometown and things like that but mm -hmm. so like he's barely on the internet at all he's basically not in any way he only does it when he contractually has to like do you want that to be like that with everybody else because right now like dior likes to post tiktoks and and post videos to like share like when they announced that thalia or tamara was cast dior immediately post a bunch of like photos and videos of them like when she was like to her first day on set when they were all really excited about her being there mm -hmm. and she's the one that posts most of the videos and pictures of the other cast members that people end up seeing when they're filming and it's like if you start micromanaging all of her friendships with these people that she's actually friends with 
in her real life. Like she actually knows these people and they're actually good friends with her and everything. She's not going to post that stuff publicly anymore. She's going to post it where they, wherever they post up privately where no, where the rest of us can't see it. And that would suck to like miss out on seeing their personalities little bits at a time when they're not having to like act like, you know, Disney role models <laughs> and yeah. like those moments. And, but at some point, if this stuff keeps happening, that's just what every person on this cast is going to do because they're going to have to. Mm -hmm. And I would like them not to have to do that because they should be able to post. The thing that's so ridiculous about this is all of this happened because Dior just posted a, a couple pictures of her hanging out with like Tamara and Charlie mm -hmm. and another actress that another Canadian actress that they're friends with. Um, that's literally all that all of this happened because she posted something on her Instagram of her hanging out with her friends. Mm 